Is that the right one? Oh, okay, hang on here, help me. All right, it looks, uh, it looks like Windows uh, decided to scramble all my audio stuff again. And it looks like everything, <laughs> everything in all programs forgot what, what audio I had set for what. Sorry about that, uh, just a little hiccup there. But uh, welcome, welcome back to Heart Space Ship Breaker. Glad I noticed that the, <laughs> the audio wasn't going. Uh, uh, audio, you can hear me now, good, thanks. <laughs> Uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, for anyone who's new, my name is Volcata, and uh, and you might notice here in the, in the window that it, we have an intercom message. I yeah, I've gotten in a practice of uh, starting up hard space before the stream because the load time is actually pretty long. Normally, it just loads me into the waking up from the from the bed. And this time it loaded in at this screen. You're seeing exactly what the screen loaded in, and it gave me the "you have a message waiting." So that's the only thing you've missed. Uh, I know that there was a big patch. Okay, something is aligned here on your screen, which is way all over the place. Uh, I, I know there was a big download patch. From what I could tell, it was just bug fixes. But uh, I. Definitely did not expect it to be some kind of uh, intercom message. So, a couple of problems earlier today, which put me all behind on my schedule. Uh, okay, I think that uh, I think we're good. So we're gonna find out what the aircom message is. Hopefully, it's a it's a, a message from Callista apologizing for for hiding our posters and and a care package with our remaining posters in it. That's what I'm going for. But I I, I read over I read over the notes as much as I could. I mean, it was a really extensive list on the uh, patch notes. If you haven't seen them. But it looked like it was entirely bug fixes. I didn't see any new features or content stuff. And it was such a long list, I did kind of glass over some of it. Like, uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Rook. I was thinking our crew should crack some beer sometime. You know, shoot the breeze, fantasize about a debt-free life and all that. Not that that's going to happen anytime soon. Like, Weaver's been at this for years. 20, maybe? Isn't this an old message? I was just getting kicked out of grade school when he started. <laughs> Dee Dee sends most of her money home. Goes through lengths, of course, with huge transfer fees. And Kaido. Well, look, Kai's great. He just hasn't really taken to the work. Got me all excited about new stuff low earner. As for me, I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. I just need enough to get me one of those mining skips. You know, for belt running. Still so many rich rocks along the frontier line. I'm, I'm curious if we missed the, this home. audio. Oh, the air platforms. Round Mars? Good people. I don't think but we missed any. Works hard to find there. Hmm. Don't know when that'll be, though. Just when I think I'm earning at a steady... I mean, I... I remember this audio, but it, we played the game more than once. Fun of hell and all, but I got other plans. This was this Maybe was part of 1.0. Anyway, don't want to get a fine for tying up comms. Kidding! That's not a thing. I don't think. Either way, good luck, Rook. Lou out. Well, Lou, Lou was really feeling talkative today, wasn't she? Hello, uh, Duracell. Good morning, Cell Cell sir. <laughs> All the team at Lynx would like to wish you a happy and productive day. Uh, yeah, well, so uh, that's what I was speculating is that, you know, I, I know that um, late into early access, uh, when they started pushing a lot of these uh, storyline elements, that uh, we had people who were missing audio clips 
mainly because they were skipping triggers. You know, they were they were doing um, like if they were doing open shift, they might do more than they might get more than one level per shift. And some of the triggers actually require you to have two shifts at one level because it'll it'll you know you'll level up and that will trigger the next storyline element, but it won't happen until the, until the next time you enter on that level. And there were people who were progressing too fast and it was causing it to skip triggers. So what I would expect is that they have put something in, some code in to try to detect what triggers that someone might have missed and re-trigger them. Which is making me think, I, 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 there's no reason why we should have missed any triggers because we intentionally take it slower because I knew about that problem. And because we take our time to do everything perfectly. Perfectly. <laughs> uh, oh, I was able to hit the enter key to go past that part. I wonder if that was the one that, that was broke on the last stream. We'll find out after our next shift. Uh, but that might have been it. It might have been some code in there that was trying to make sure that people hadn't missed anything. And it's possible that we missed that one because, you know, we went through the entire game in a previous live stream before 1.0. And that was, that was an old dialogue from before the 1.0 dialogue that was added. But we would have, you know, those of us who were present for the first stream, obviously I was present for it. Uh, would have been familiar with that that line, and so I, it wouldn't seem like new to us, especially whether or not it, we saw it on our second playthrough or this this current playthrough. Uh, but there, so much <laughs> the excitement that there was a new a new audio bit. Uh, all right, um, I think today we want to try again to to find some posters. Uh, you know, last session we were trying to get back into the swing of things because we had been out of it for a while. And uh, we went with some old favorites and, and whatnot. Uh, but I, I, I think that our best shot at finding posters are going to be things like uh, maybe the Station Hopper or Salvage Runner Gecko. Uh, I think I think it's potluck when we talk about which kind of javelin because they both have interior uh, crew sections, and I'm I'm really enjoying the, the heavy cargo javelin that we ignored for such a long time, but uh, I wouldn't mind also revisiting the the regular one that doesn't seem to be on here. I don't think we saw one the. It's been so long since we've done one, I've forgotten the name of it. What's the other javelin? Uh, yeah, Gavin, I, I think you're right. I I think... Um, I, right, the, the, the fuel... Right, refuel the tanker. Tanker. Tanker, there it is. It was the fuel-based one, the tanker. Uh, no, I, I think you're right. I think it is a tanker. <laughs> it shows how long it's been since we've done this. Uh, but uh, I think you're right, Gavin. I, I think that the salvage runner was the one that we found the Union poster on. Uh, we're not going to warm up with the salvage runner because that's crazy talk. But uh, we could do... Ooh, it's a, uh, a Ferrero Rojo. We love the... That's our, that's our company. Well, it's only a, it's only has a level seven. We're not going down that far. Okay. Uh, no heavy cargo mackerel. Oh, it's the it's uh, it's the black one, but it's not. It's, it's slink salvage. I was thinking it was the black castle. Uh, last time we did uh, station hopper or station the the passenger one. Let's do this as our warm up. And, uh, and then maybe we'll do a, a, a Gecko Salvage Runner. Because I, 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 I do think you're right. I think that was where we got the last one. And I think that lined up with the fact that we hadn't been actually doing them. Those are feeling weird. 
I don't know why the controls are feeling weird after after we. I mean, obviously, I've been doing. Um, Salvage secured. That's factory during the week because you know. Episode. Oh yeah, we're getting we're getting that early game stuttering again. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting my buttons mixed up. Wow. I'm having more I'm having more trouble readjusting the since last week than uh, than when uh, we we took two months off of it. I'll I'll get back I'll get back into it. Anything else on the bottom? The tra oh, we got the the gas can. Nope. Did we miss it? Oh, I guess we missed it. All right. Yeah, I could hear it charging up, but I, I didn't get the whoop sound out of it. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Ooh, free money. We have, we have working regulars in both of them. Oh, I did see, uh, I did see in the patch notes that there was a f acknowledgement and a fix that there was um, a pressurization problem in the gecko in the in the gecko heavy cargo. The one we've always talked about that the, it uh, sometimes it depressurizes between chambers where it shouldn't. They, there was a bug fix in for it. All right, we're gonna try something we don't normally try on this one. And I, go away, that's okay. We're gonna try to depressurize between uh, the front and the back. There was no cockpit door? Oh, now we gotta go back inside. I think, I think you're right, Gavin. I was just, <laughs> I'm glad you said that. I was literally going outside to remove the the front bars so that we could we could come back in, depressurize, and then go out through the window and then come back in again. Uh, would have been a base, big waste of time because there's no doors. Yes, the uh, one button should, should handle the whole thing. Air pressure level decreasing. It's... You can you can tell it's been a while since I played. The uh, the heavy cargos never have a door in that, and I completely forgot. I feel I feel shameful. All these. Remember, never on on the heavy cargo uh, mackerel. You can reach these through the bars. Do not ever pull these through the bar because this is what pulls the entire ship over into the furnace. That problem was never fixed. It's gonna. What about that way? You know what? I was gonna go outside and cut the the cap off the back so we could take the. Uh, the thruster out, but since we were able to depressurize so easily, let's just make ourselves a hole. It's weird being able to go out to the exterior right from the beginning. Uh, there was also in the patch notes I saw... Uh, that some of the um, the personal computers that are on on uh, the beds were not Valuable giving credits, deposit. even though they have credit values with them. Which I had kind of noticed before, but just kind of you know sometimes Salvage it doesn't show credited. up in the top left. I always just figured it was just not showing, but I had noticed that I wasn't getting notifications when we were turning in the, the tiny little. Uh, 
the tiny little personal computers that are attached to the, to the, the beds. Apparently they weren't giving us credit at all. So that's supposed to be fixed. Link's Corp can't uh, can't preload on us for, for those anymore. Don't feel like getting above that guy in order to have to shoot him downwards. Salvage secured. Applying credit. There's an asteroid. There. Man, they are all over the place in this ship. It's like they flew through an asteroid sh you know, field and just just opened their bay doors. Oh, that's not a good place. A dangerous boat. I wanted to make sure there weren't more of those hanging around the other side of this that you know that we wouldn't see and and get it when we do the long cut. Although now we're on the other side, we do know there are barrels on the other side. We should probably be safe. To get the thing all the way in the back. Push it all shouldn't reach that far. Oh! Okay. We forgot to reopen the door. Oh, it did catch the port in the back. Just kind of weird taking the taking the sides off before the top and the bottom. Part of why I like this ship because it's so different from all of the other mackerels. that with you. That was solidly attached. Buddy with you. Object I didn't take anything with him, he's not supposed to. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Ah. Helmet damage detected. I didn't think I pushed it that hard. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Base billiards. That's the heavy fuel tank, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Hey, Cutter. You've got five minutes left in the ship. Hope you're having fun. <laughs> our, our Cutter gave Dee Dee the thumbs up. 
Okay, Didi. You know, I, while I do miss the hazard of not having working regulators, the heavy cargo mackerel is such a dangerous ship to depressurize by force because of all of those pallet jacks or forklifts. You call them forklifts, but those are not forklifts, those are pallet jacks. Who wants to work some warehouses? Not bad. I don't want to deal with all of them. Credit. Try to leave them inside the hole until the very end. I mean, it's a good question, Gavin. Why, why would they be using, why would they be using forklifts, pallet jacks in zero G? I, you know, I would say that maybe. Uh, Salvage deposit secured. That maybe they're not landing in a, maybe they're not docking in a space dock. Maybe they're bringing these materials planet side, which I could definitely see. Like if they're collecting asteroids, they, they, there could be valuable materials in the asteroids. Maybe they're taking them to planet side for for uh, processing. But even if you're taking them planet side for processing, then the processing facility would have, you know, pallet jacks and whatnot for unloading. So I, yeah, I don't know. Okay, the only the only real use it have for them is in space. You know, when they're not at a facility that already has them. You definitely wouldn't want them, like, if you're going planet side and you're using them to load and unload, Salvage deposit accepted. then that's Credit extra transferred. mass that you're having to lift back off into space. And granted, they're not, you know, they have futuristic space drives now, but there still has to be a, a fuel concern. Valuable object processed. Even if it's just an energy, you know, drive of some sort. And having to carry those heavy objects back into space when they could just be left on the planet really not make a whole lot of sense. Definitely a good question to ask. And I, I don't think they're random debris, right? Because we only see them in, like we see One them in the Salvage Runner. The One minute. And this is essentially salvage the mackerel Salvage Runner. Credit. And they call it heavy cargo, but it's full of asteroids. It's not, to not carrying heavy, heavy cargo, it's salvaging stuff from space. That's got a thing on it. Uh, get you out of my way. Material Twenty seconds. Let's see if we can at least get this back cut. Okay. Up, 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 up. Oh, did we get credit for that? <laughs> oh, look, we lost a multi-tool. Oh, darn. 
Wow, multi multi tools five grand. Jeez. All right, moment of truth. Did they fix the button? Can we press enter all the way through to the hab? Or the, yeah, the hab. I think it was the next screen that, that the button wasn't working on. Oh, wait. Yeah, incredibly expensive wrench. Hello, ship breaker 9346-52. Links would this like screen to right here, I think. Uh, still doesn't work. Some people dream of great salvage, while other people get up every morning and make it happen. Okay, so they didn't fix it. Gigantic wall of text of fixes. They didn't fix that one. I'm guessing that people who didn't rebind that button, that it probably still works for them. I didn't see any fuel in there, I'll go ahead and grab some. Have a nice day. All right, so did we kick that cut? Successfully. We did, alright. Now this drum's in the way we didn't cut we didn't take this one out. Be careful. Oh we cut. I wanna give it that little love tap, but you know that even the slightest little tap it'll just fire it straight into the back. Forward as far as we can. I feel like the in early access we had better control of of the gravity propulsion. Salvage secured. Applying credit. But it might also be that they, you know, tweaked the the push force, like the minimum push force. Oh, I didn't want to get that bottom one. That's all right. And we're going to brave that. There we go. Ba -ba, while we're in here. Hey, look, wires. <laughs> Remember when that was a big deal? Search for wires. Uh, I have not tried setting the controls back to default. Oh. And you're correct, it would be tedious. I, I mean, it might be worth experiment. Oh, come on, I... Did I not... What did I miss? Uh, no, it's not that, right? Because... No, that's the co that's part of the cockpit. Guys, what am I missing? Why is the front not coming free? Well, let me, let me get this out of, out of the way so we can see it better.
Yeah, see, it's moving now. Is it just too heavy? No, it's moving now. There we go. It just needed a little bit of encouragement. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Back him into the other guy. All right, there we go. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Uh, yeah, there, that is true. Um, that there can be, there are commune instances where you're too close to the, like. It's usually, it's secured. like floating objects. Like if we got close enough to one of those lights. You're right. It's it's like you're under the minimum distance, or to register the field. We'll try it. We'll try to replicate that right now. Oh, or maybe I'll just accidentally fire it into the. Salvage deposit confirmed. Let's grab another one. <laughs> try it again. I know, you're, but yeah, it's, it's some instances where you're too close and it won't. That one, it's it's it's. Well, if we try to demonstrate it, it, it won't cooperate. But I know what you're talking about, and you're correct. There, there can be instances of it. I feel like I mainly have seen it with entities rather than uh, objects. If we want to consider like walls and materials as objects. Salvage secured. Applying credit. I can't say for sure they actually do distinct them differently in the game code. In most games they do though. Valuable object accepted for processing. You broken your tether or are you still going? You're still going. Alright. Doors to open, so we can do that safely. I think we still have another one somewhere because I can still see lights on the boxes. Salvage deposit. Oh no, I lost the light. Credits awarded. Processing object. We have relived ourselves. It's holding things apart. That's because I accidentally broke a couple of little points I didn't want to break. Material accepted. All right. I made it easier to get the glass out. Hopefully there isn't anything I forgot about on there that's barge. Uh, I, don't, I don't see anything. Always good to double check, especially after a patch. Who knows if they change. Change where something goes. Breathing heavy. Object processed. Transferring credit. 
It's almost like he doesn't trust the barge to actually deactivate the reactor. Of course, last week we had when we accidentally sent one of the, uh, the reactor the reactor type two panels uh, towards the barge. It went right through the barge and just kept going into space. The barge failed to capture it. Oh, I would say our guy has a, at least some reason to be uh, apprehensive about the reliability of the barge. Getting the other atmospheric regulator. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. I did. All salvage All rewards allocated. Also do that before I rotate the ship. All right, nice and easy anyway. I think we have Account just credited. furnace stuff. No door handles because no door. Bunch of useless lights. Grab one just for the heck of it. Make up for the light we lost earlier. Or the multi tool. <laughs> I wouldn't make up for the multi tool, right? Because the multi tool is five grand. And we'll grab another light for it. Ooh. Ooh. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Ooh. When I made the reference to space billiards earlier, that's actually a, a reference to a board game. Uh, Galaxy Trucker. I don't know if you guys have ever played that. Very, very fun board game. So basically, uh, Galaxy Trucker, it's a... It's a board game where everybody, basically what it has is, uh, everybody has a, a, a board that's a, an empty outline of a spaceship. And there are a bunch of face down square tiles in the center of the table. And you go through flipping them over and they're, they're parts for a ship. And you assemble and try to build your ship out of the parts while other people around the table are doing the same. So you're all competing for the same pool of parts in the middle. And uh, after you build your ship, there's a, uh, a randomized deck of cards that is the adventure that your ship, that your, all of your ships are going to go through. And the premise is that you collectively, uh, you are all running your own little uh, base shipping business. So you're trying to pick up cargo as you go along, but you have to deal with asteroids and pirates, space pirates, and and uh, just other various hazards. You need to build your ship to be able to have like lasers to shoot down asteroids or, or be strong enough to fight off pirates. You have to have enough cargo space for, for cargo that you might find. You have to have crew quarters for your crew. 
little bit of gray, but not enough. I don't think there's... Yeah. That's... And you have a, an order in which the, the players are in. So you have engines, and uh, if you stop off at a feature, like say if you, you stop at a space station to loot the, the cargo off of it, uh, it takes X number of days, which is basically s s relative spaces to you and, and the other players. Because you're in a convoy. 99.4%. Nice. That's a good way to start. Um, I have not changed my my uh, screen layout. I wonder if they when when we're back in there, I'll take a look. Um, I you know I pay so little attention to the the stats in the in the bottom right corner that I wouldn't notice if they're moved. At least not without it being pointed out. They there there definitely were a lot of notes related around the UI. Because I know they added uh, colorblind features. Shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not the key to happiness. So they might have also happiness moved them around the a bit for success. readability. If you love what you do, you will be successful. We'll look at it when we get back in there. I can always move the camera. I'm because I'm totally with you on that. Like if I if I watch a live streamer and they're and they're their heads in a way of important information on the screen, it's frustrating. Like, move your head somewhere else. <laughs> I probably should look into uh, uh, making my, my background transparent. I just I, I I don't want to get that salvage. Yeah, sometimes I see when people do those transparencies and you get that weird fuzziness uh, around them where it's trying to extract the back because they don't have a proper green screen. Oh, it just looks weird. All right, Gecko Salvage Runner. I feel like he's... Okay, there's a... No, that's a tanker. Yeah, okay, tanker. Right, right, it's the cargo... Heavy cargo in the tanker. Okay. We're not, we're not. We're not. We're not. It's, it's. I don't. I don't find the AI notes to be a challenge on the tankers. It's. The, it's a matter of wanting to. Uh, to challenge ourselves for our first session. Our first. Uh, shift run on those tankers and uh, dealing with the AI nodes kind of interrupts that that thing so I think we pretty much stick with other other ships for the ghost ships all right let's do uh let's do the station the soldier we're gonna look for look for a uh, look for more uh, posters <clears throat> And I feel like the last time or two that we've done these, that we've had a little bit better experience with taking the, the bay doors apart. You know, tweaking that strategy. They also seem like they've come apart a little bit more reliably. Right, there are a lot of claws on this one. So, I, I'm looking at the interface, and I mean, that feels like that's where it always has been, but, you know, to that point, there's literally nothing going on in the bottom left corner. So, let's <clears throat> take a quick second. See how that looks.
Alright. Uh, is the head better? I think that's I think that's probably better. I think that's where we probably just leave it for now on. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. They they may have they may have moved it. I'm guessing they probably moved it. I'd have to go and watch a, a previous stream. Salvage deposited. Yeah, it, it's too bad I can't like do the like bury my picture kind of under the interface. That would be kind of cool. Just have it overlapping a little bit. I also saw that someone has made a player-made ship for the game. Uh, I haven't looked into it yet, but apparently that's a thing. Someone figured out a way of, of making their own ship. Airlock well, that's something that's something for me to look into. I don't know how good it is, <laughs> but uh, I mean, it had to have been a technical feat, you know, given that there's no developer tools available for doing this. I know it couldn't have been easy for them to do. I, I appreciate that someone has done it, but until I actually get a chance to look at it, I can't speak to whether or not it's something well done. I don't know if it runs smoothly or not. But it's exciting. It's exciting that that's now a thing. Uh, I don't know if it's on Nexus. Oh, we'll leave that there in case we cut our way out. I want to take a look at the interior. Uh... I briefly read over a post related to it, and somebody was somebody expressed that where the download was was not a common site. They were having trouble downloading, and I was like, "Why didn't you just use a common place?" I, like I said, I didn't have time really to look into it. I got the impression that it wasn't on any of the any of the standard. Places. But it will definitely be something I'll be looking into. Okay, so there is an air regulator in there that works. That one's broken. Broken. Hey, this room is different. The, uh, the beds are normally along the back wall. Yeah, this is very different. And there's a air filter on the side. There's a puppy. Pet the puppy. All right, there one puppy pet. Yeah, yeah. This is full of posters. I mean, none of the ones we want, but nonetheless, it's it's reiterating that this is a good candidate for poster hunting. Working regulator in there. There. Wow. It went a little overboard on giving us options here. Okay. Another poster. Big question is, is this one here? Yes, that one works. Okay, so we're going to... Why we left the door up there, though we probably don't have to use it. We're going to cut our way out of the ship. Come back around. And then go into the front of the airlock. Squeeze through. Bottom of the ship carousels away on the bottom. I'll stay as far back as I can because I want to accidentally, you know, unintentionally cut open the the seal to the front, the cockpit, and then have it go all crazy on us. Okay. 
That's all we need right there. Let's create our own door. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Nothing on Nexus about hard space yet. I'm trying to think what they named the named the I saw the name of the ship. It was like the moth or Salvage secured. Account yeah, I don't think that's applied. what it was called. It was something like that. Airlock pressurizing. I think it's on the yeah, emergency exit. Uh, I think that... The, uh, I think I saw the post on the forums, the, the Steam forums. Talking about the objects. All these doors closed themselves, look at that. That's interesting. Now we're not going to go through and depressurize and cut our way out of everything, every chamber, but I think we're going to do it for this one because it has the air filter and we're going to cut it out anyway. Oh, that's a danger. Oh, the, yeah, the exterior is depressurized. Nope, I take that back. We're not going to because the airlock does not work in that room. Or the regular does not work in there. Scrap that idea. Oh, forgot. There's something we gotta do. We need to grab all the regulars because they're gonna come off the walls and they're gonna fly around and bang themselves up. Put them where they're safe. A little tedious, but we just did a 99.4%. We have to. We have to reserve our run here. Dude, I just. If someone would have come out with a mod that kept those things from coming off the wall, I would run that mod. I still do not understand why they made this change. Boggles the mind. Swordfish. Now, see, I, I'm pretty sure that the one I saw was not a swordfish, so maybe there's a second one now. If we end up doing any modded ships on stream, there's no way I'm going to do them blind because of the potential for them to, you know, just crash the game or, or uh, just, you know, who knows what could go wrong with them. So they would, they would be something that I'd have to do. I'd have to test them out prior to a stream. Oh. It's kind of unfortunate because I would like, you know. Uh, you know, I like expand. I like exploring things together with you guys, but hey, Cutter, five minutes left in this shift. All right. Audit content is is prone to breakage. Oh, missed one. And I missed it coming at me. Where'd it go? Well, I mean, they allowed it. They allow mod ships in the sense that if you load the modded loader, <laughs> I mean, 
Yeah, the, the regular survived the depressurization. Oh. The uh, developers don't have anything against us having mod ships. They even released a uh, the the internal developer how to uh, to make ships. You know that the you know because the developers have their own tools, and they had a uh, instructional guide for for you know their employees on how to make ships, and they released that document to the public. Uh, make it easier for anyone who were you know try or want to make developer to or you know make modded tools to better understand what goes into making the ships so they have a better chance of them working so the developers are definitely been supportive of community you know coming up with our own modded content but they haven't been supportive in the sense of they're they're not making an effort to give us tool you know to make tools for us do it. Which I understand, right? There's a, it's a really complex process. Hey, Charmer, welcome back. Uh, Sujo Sujuki, is that how you pronounce your name? Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. Uh, what was what was wrong with the Xbox version? Was it just a performance issue? I mean, I know I know that the patch earlier this week was really extensive. I mean, it was a huge patch. So. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if if it included stuff for the consoles too. They obviously have been very busy on improving the game. Deposit secured. Yeah, Jake, they, they would definitely, there's definitely a lot of work they'd have to put in to, to make the game more mod friendly, which would be appreciated. <laughs> uh, but it's, you know, no surprise to me that someone figured out a way of doing it anyway. And obviously, I'm going to be interested in looking at those tools. I'm not, you know, I'm hesitant. I'm hesitant to bring it up because I don't want to make any promises that I'm going to be coming out with modded ships myself. My time is limited, and it's not. And my, um, much as I absolutely adore this game, from a content creator standpoint, my time has to be focused on what I'm making more of my content on, which is satisfactory at the moment. Object accepted for processing. Credits to Not much time left, Cutter. One I minute were not to making go. YouTube content and had to focus on modding content, then I would absolutely be an active member of the modding community. I'm doing everything I could to make ships. That being said, I would like to make a ship. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Er, not moving. I'm gonna really look over the ship for aluminum. I didn't see any. There's why you're not moving. I wanna leave that attached. This is what I wanna cut. Oh, overshot my drive. Oh, why did I do that? That's gonna cut the floor. That's what happens when you get in a hurry. <clears throat> wow, after after level ten on the Xbox, your game would just crash. That's that's a heck of a bug. <laughs> uh, Durak is the way uh, is for your name. Well, works for me. I, I, I prefer the short versions anyways. <laughs> you found a video of a, of a custom ship. It's basically a shell. Yeah. I, 
I, it's it can't be un, it can't be overstated the complexity of getting these ships to work. Um, and so I I highly respect anyone who's managed to put together uh, a working actual working ship uh, that doesn't have those issues. You know, hats off to them because I know that that's not a trivial task. It's it's respect for how complicated it is to make these ships. That I, is the reason why I I'm not committing. Not committing to uh, whether or not I can make a ship. Hello, Sentry. Uh, so you're having the same level 10 issue with, with your Xbox. Have you tested it since the uh, since the patch? And so, uh, so, uh, I'm guessing Suzuki is the, is the way you pronounce the name. Uh, saying that that it's fixed for them. Hopefully, it's fixed for you as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm, if I can find the time, I will definitely look into what's it going to take to make ships. And, uh, it, you know, if I if I do it, I'm going to take the time to do it right, you know, and I just rip, rip off a, a copy of something else. I'd have to come up with a good design. I think it's interesting. Right, I was in a, I was in a hurry and I cut the floor. As soon as I pressed the button, I knew that I shouldn't have done that. I was just trying to get that cut in before the before the end of the shift. Unnecessarily. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Yeah, exactly. It would, you don't want you know, the design would you know you wouldn't want it to be repetitive. Um, and of course, there's you know the limitations for the bay. You, see, you know, we we all want gigantic ships that we we never got, but there's a reason why we didn't get them. Iterations of not only fitting it in the bay, but also there being enough space to work around it. Because obviously we could fit a much larger ship in the bay, but then you'd be so close to the furnace and the processor that it might be unbearably challenging to try to get things to where they go. You have to be careful about that balance. But most likely anything that I would make would be a double-decker ship. I like, you know, that was the thing that I was most excited about with the Atlas because that was the thing I kept asking for the most, uh, for, you know, from future ships was we needed something that wasn't just a one-story ship. And the Atlas gave us the double-decker, which made me very happy. Now, obviously, I would like to have seen a bigger ship. I'd like to see something like the... Um, Echo Station Hopper, but have two floors, like a double-decker bus. I think that would play real well to the concept, right? Because it's a, it's a people transport. And having two floors of of uh, passenger quarters would make sense. The question is, would it, would it make for entertaining content? Uh, not content from a video standpoint, but just playing content. Account or would it just be repetitious? You know, disassembling two identical floors might not be terribly compelling.
All right, are you going to cooperate today? Answer is no, you're not going to cooperate today. Uh, exactly, yeah, Gavin. The, I, I very much would have liked the Atlas to be a larger ship, but it gave me the one thing I cared about that I felt was most missing, which was the double-decker concept. And, and the Atlas, uh, the design of the Atlas affected our strategies for non-Atlas ships. You know, like the mackerels. We, now we rotate the, the mackerel to face up and down to empty out the, the uh, cockpit, which was a strategy that we developed from doing you know, the Atlas. But remember, I rotate the Atlas around rather than dragging stuff over the sides. And I found that that was a viable adaptation to the uh, the macro. Speed that up a little bit. I, this is still not moved, and I detached the front, so there's got to be something else going on here. Get inside, take a look. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get sassy with me. Raw material deposited. You're gonna break your tether, aren't you? Valuable object processed. Credit deposited. <laughs> yeah, the cockpit get up on the wrong side of the bed for sure. Oh, there he goes. Salvage deposit accepted. <laughs> and it left Credit behind the the rest of it. All right. Okay. There is absolutely nothing that should be holding that on. I guess it's counting these as attached to it. Of course, now that it's not up in the front, it's not going to come out. Alright. I want to cancel tethers because that thing is going all the way to the, across the map, but it won't. Yeah. Fine. Cancel it. Change it. I have to. You know what? We're not gonna. We're just gonna leave it. Right. We're gonna. We're getting ready to do another tether that we're gonna break. Oh, we haven't freed up everything. Oh, we can't do that yet. Or can we? You know what? We're going to try something new today. We always free everything up and then scoop it up with the... with it, but the front ones end up coming out. Maybe if we leave them attached, pull it forward, and then... and then detach them from the walls. Right, it is still powered. Fuel levels are low. It, it's acting like it's still attached to the hull, but we've clearly melted all the beams around it. There are shenanigans afoot. But well, we're going to leave it. Come back to it later. Are low. We'll just start working, working the rest of the ship. Oh, don't go 
go red on me? Come on, just go in there already. I don't have that far to go. You've reached your 14 tether limit. Oh, I don't remember the big object process. Transferring credit. Big cross box on the outside here. We're just kind of killing some time because we get tethered things that have a long way to go. And you're going to have something on the other side of you preventing you from coming out. This ship is not being cooperative. Deposit accepted for processing. Five minutes left, Cutter. All good? Good. Nope. I'm going to connect the two of you. Okay. And, of course, you did that. Caution. Oh, and it'll tether it to itself. Yes. What else can we mess up? It's still stuck. <laughs> Processing object. Applying credits to account. Uh, quick resume. Uh, centric. Is that is, is that an Xbox feature? Thank you for your tethers restored. Or is that just. What they call the 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 loading of the of the ship you were working on. It still thinks it's still attached. How long has it been frozen? Maybe it's maybe it's got to be a, a first first time load since the patch. Salvage I mean, obviously it, sh <laughs> it shouldn't be frozen very long. And a freeze can be worse than a or worse than a uh, crash. But at least with a crash, you know you're you know you're done. <laughs> A freeze, you just sit there and stare at it, going, Alright, you gonna work? Are you gonna work? I'm back. Phew! Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Okay, a panel that doesn't belong to anything. Get out of our way, though. Excuse me. You're in the way of progress. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Hot piece out of the way, so we can easily get our uh, beds out. This depressurized. I had to cut that, but I want to get 
all this stuff out of the way. I want to get to getting that crew quarters undone One before the left, end of the Tyler. shift. Start finishing things up. All right. Object process. Transferring credits. Back your buddy out, please. Account credit applied. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. We'll drag along the pipe. All right, here we go. There. That was really what I was looking for. We got major stuff out of the room. Applying credit. Oh. Warning. I think we got the entire room done. Nice. Critical. Return to the master jack to purchase supplies. Well, Gavin, it's great to see you again. Hopefully, you enjoy the rest of your rest of your day, rest of your weekend. I'm sure we're we'll doing something next week. If you're uh, you're around, so we'll be. <laughs> Good morning, ship breaker. Your allocated shift time will be commencing shortly. So I wonder, Centric, if it's. Uh, I wonder if there's a problem with the, the save game. We're doing a quick resume. If there, maybe there's a corruption that was causing the, the freezing in the first place. Which, having to start over again is never a great... Never a great solution for a problem. Thank you for your purchase. Fuel levels restored. Even in a game as fun as this. But I, I didn't... When I looked over the patch notes, I didn't pay attention to anything related to consoles because I don't play in consoles, so... That wouldn't have stuck out to me if there were, if there were any notes related to Xbox. Deposit accepted for processing. I mean, there were so many bug fixes in the patch notes that I didn't even read all of the PC-related fixes, much less stuff for the consoles. Material deposited. You might want to check that. Processing object. Applying credit. It's on the it's on the Steam updates. You go to this the Steam page for uh, Heart Space. Deposit accepted. Not necessarily necessary to get all these, but they're just kind of in the way. I wanted to clean up the mess. Here to keep track of what I'm doing. Might have seen fuel in there. We just bought fuel. Did see I I saw a fuel canister. I don't know whether or not it was a that one or not. side and free up whatever is holding it down. Retether it. Uh, 
Okay. Let's just do it. Don't go crazy when you come apart, please. Okay, settle down. Bump anyone on your way out. Yeah, that <laughs> that does suck. You have to restart. Salvage registered. So, Transferring credits. in principle, it sucks if you have to restart. This game, if I had to restart it, well, I have had to restart it a number of times throughout early access. Uh, so, I can sympathize. Processing valuable deposit. So you should never have to restart after 1.0. Okay. Personally, I find this game to be so fun that a restart doesn't bother me. But it needs to be needs to be voluntary. Having to restart due to a bug is just the worst. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. I use this. Putting out with you. We're gonna have to do some cutting. Some creative cutting because that front cockpit I don't think it's gonna come out. But I am I am with uh with Charmer there. Yay, you get to play hard space again. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Quick resume really sounds to me like it's a console specific function. And that's not knocking on consoles, it's just that, that if that's true, then that means it's a console unique code. A bit of coding that didn't get tested, you know, probably didn't get tested as thoroughly as all the PC stuff because it didn't go through the same early access uh, process. I wouldn't even feel like it would be more prone to have problems. We're gonna go ahead and dismantle this back end. It's, I feel like I want the shell out of the way. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Uh, Jackson, yeah. So you're, you're, I see what you're saying about the, the storage locker in the back of the cockpit. We'll take a look at it. Um, it is true that normally we have detached all that, so you might be right. Uh, in principle, it shouldn't be able to be that because we've we've cut the uh, the beams around the entire back wall, so th it shouldn't be able to be attached to the rest of the ship in any fashion. But to your point, normally we do detach those lockers, those, those uh, storage bins. And the one time it stuck is the one time we didn't do it, so you might be right. And that's what we will uh, we'll look into doing. Not really? You're just not going to budge at all. Did I miss something? Let 
going anywhere fast, but it should be going at least a little bit. Oh, that's what we're missing. There you go. I knew you could. Oh, get over yourself with the red beams. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. All right. Well, that's doing its thing. Let's uh, go back up front and explore the... You see how that entire segment is fully detached. So those inner lockers are attached to the back wall and the top wall. But the back wall is supposed to come free. That whole back wall is not part of the ship anymore. But it, clearly it thinks it is. But we will detach those to remove them as... You know, maybe they're poking through and their corners are touching the back wall, which is possible. Because we have had... We've definitely had issues with... With... Uh, objects, you know... Errantly touching other things. See, it's something's... Just errantly, errant, errantly wrong. I feel like Five it's... Five minutes left in the shift, Cutter, okay? Okay. We're just gonna start cutting. Looks like the back end is out of the way enough. All right. I don't want to spend all day on this. We are going to strongly encourage this to detach. Just that panel. Going to be stubborn. There it goes. Up, uh, up, I'm moving. That's not me moving. I don't think that doing it this way is better. I'm just trying to be better. I mean, normally we normally we detach everything ahead of time. This is going to result in my dragging the ship around. Cockpit around. There's probably a better hybrid solution, like pre pre. Uh, Taking all the storage bins off, but leaving the front terminals. The front terminals are the things that usually jump out and get scattered.
Like those guys right there, leaving those attached probably would have been better. And then detaching everything else. But, process, experimenting, new strategies. Oh, and that swung around. Did I get the door handle off the back? I don't feel like I did. I did not. Ah, I gotcha. Wow, it really threw stuff everywhere. I did not do a good angle on that one. I got the handle there. That was not nearly as clean as it usually is. <laughs> I don't think that was a new strategy. I just, I, I did normally I grab the side of the cockpit and Salvage keep it from wibble wobbling. And uh, I didn't that time, and it really, it really went off. I feel like there should be a lot more around here. There should be more atmospheric regulars. We put all of them from the front of the ship in. I think we're going to be finding straight bits throughout the rest of the run. Yeah, look, they're all down there. All right, that was pretty messy. Only got 14 seconds left, so kill some time here. So you're saying that would it would be nice to see some kind of visual of the of the the jacks holding themselves in place. Uh, I agree that'd be cool, but I don't think that I think that the concept is that they're being held in place by other forces that they don't actually have thrusters on them. Maybe some kind of magnetic field that's holding them in place. Something. I mean, obviously, they shouldn't move meaningfully when we're pulling ourselves on them from... We don't have any real mass compared to them. But tethering the entire back end of the ship, you're absolutely right, Charmer. Like, uh, there's a lot of mass in the back end of that ship. And it would definitely pull the jacks. Even if the jacks Hello, are breaker, nine, three, four, significantly six, heavier... 52. Links they should like start to share moving. The following inspirational message. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort. I'm guessing that they're creating a magnetic field or something that's holding them into place. Which isn't hard to believe, right? Cuz they could have solar powered, you know, batteries inside them that could be putting out like a, a negative field and then there could be positive magnets in the walls around them that's locking them in within the center of this field. I mean, it would take a heck of a balancing act to center them, but uh, Processing valuable deposit. there also could be electronics that's adjusting the size of their field as appropriate based on how far off out of place they are. That would be my speculation. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. But I, I agree, it'd be cool to see them counter thrust.
Oh, that was close. I almost caught the airlock. That was a little sloppy. Pre-tether. Before we start cutting. That panel is giving awkwardly. Clear. Come on. Move along. Furnace. Furnace is not your friend. All right. Deposit accepted. Get one right in the middle. I feel like these came off a lot more reliably last time. Nice. If I get away, because the sides are coming off, I wonder if they've made it where only the only the metal beams are intentionally not cutting across the way. We get away with not cutting the sides now, which was always a maybe or maybe not in early access. Sometimes you get away with it, sometimes you couldn't. Ah! So it is literally just the the edge of the, the corners, and maybe the middle beam, maybe not. We'll try the corners next time, just the corners only. And uh, let's see if we can get away with just that. I suspect that we'll have to be the middle beam still. Right. For any air filter, that's not air filter. Anything that we're gonna need to cut out anyway will save us from cutting out stuff we don't have to. Answer is no. We need to cut this floor out here because we need to get this out. I'm gonna forget the hoist like we did last week. Much to our shame. Under the ship and start cutting out floors with this. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Ooh. 
Two or three panels. I guess all three panels, right? And that's the airlock right there. To the edge. Uh, no. That's a wall right there. Two panels. Pew everything to the barge. Oh, uh, there was the. See, I, I'm, I'm unable to uh, charge. Like, I'm trying to do a push, and it won't even let me charge, but it was what we were talking about earlier. Back up a little bit. Now I can. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. That's right. So it's. I, I remember now why. It's if you're in range of an object that you could disassemble for parts, then. The button doesn't work. You have to be far enough away from it so that you're not getting that prompt. That's that's the that's why I, I knew that there was something to do with it being an object versus something like walls. I couldn't remember why, but that's why because of that interaction option it's in the way, which it really shouldn't because it's not the same button that you're pressing. Almost made it cleanly through. All right, I'll have to rotate it. The button lights and everything out of the way. It still didn't make it out. Smack us in the head. Processing valuable deposit. Credit transfer. Probably straight all, way all the way to the barge. We'll get rid of the middle one here, and the other side we're going to take the whole room away, so we don't need to cut it. Almost junk out easily. salvage runner do they just find like data banks floating in space or are they or are they finding derelict ships and just looting the ships salvage deposit accepted credits transferred like leaving the ships around and just gutting them I bet that's what they're doing I can uh, firefly Right, we are done with this side. Valuables. 
Make an omelet without breaking some eggs, lady. Not taking anything with you. Salvage secured. Like that. Count credit applied. Sneaky. Probably pull the reactor next shift. Got enough time, we could do it now, but I'm gonna get all these little bits done. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Valuable object process. An access ladder that is a furnace item instead of a barge item. cheeky and just move this whole thing. Probably break it apart later, I just want to get it out of the way. Uh, it's still light on top. Oh, the top of the, the little room. I don't think that those... I mean, you might have been thinking of the... There was one. It was uh, right here. It was on top of this. That might have been the one you were thinking of. I don't think that they spawn on the roof of the room. It's like there's another one right there. Uh, specifically in, in these back rooms. Salvage deposit secured. I do appreciate the heads up though, because I do miss those things. Oh, that's another. Their housing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am burning something else. It's missing. I, I missed the beam, and I wasn't looking at that. <laughs> I don't know what I was looking at, but my mind was not on what I was burning, so I didn't notice I wasn't on it. This is something I should be doing right at the last second. <laughs> I don't know if we got credit for that. They're fuse, right? It'd be two fuses. Yep, we got it. Excellent. 0 0.2. I mean, we've got most of the ship opened up at the point. Most of our cutting is done, except for, uh, you know, cutting the ship in half to, to send the two halves in. But most of the gray that we're going to lose is already accounted for. We are on... You're on fire. It'll be a good run. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Your Zeta Wave levels are high. 
please administer two caffeine pods before starting your shift. Administer two caffeine pods. Got them right here. I am, if anything, very caffeinated. Done. On their side of it is done. Are you moving the ship? No, optical illusion. All right. Got that banister out of the way. We still gotta get the one in the middle. Right, we've got the computer room done. Valuable object accepted for processing. Yeah, we just need this mill room here taken care of. <laughs> that would be a good cut. I feel like the Air Force is not going to come out, even though the beams have been cut around it. We did. It cooperated. Raw material deposited. Transferring credits. Alright, where are you going? Not ready for you to go anywhere yet. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Ah, so we didn't re remove the lights. No way. Like I said, I wasn't ready for him to. Bring out. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Oh, do not do that. Nope. That was sloppy. Oh, yeah. Let's break this thing apart. We've got it so close. Away from the furnace. All right. Uh, no, Durak. I've never had the I've never had the reactor just sit on the on the barge and, and not credit. Uh, we did last stream have an object go through the barge and off to Earth. It was it was a non-barge item that I had accidentally sent down there, but it just went right through the floor and just kept on going. Uh, but the only time that you should run into an issue where the reactor doesn't get credited, or anything doesn't get credited on the barge, 
is if you're on a ghost ship and there's an AI node on it. If there's an AI node on anything that goes to the barge, you won't get credit for it until the node has been destroyed. That should be the only the only condition under which you uh, under which that could happen. I don't remember if I've seen an AI node on a reactor. It's possible, but I don't specifically remember being one. I've seen them on thrusters. And a lot on fuel. I feel like I've seen one on a reactor, but I don't. Maybe I haven't. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. I feel like they were on reactors before, then they took them off in, in 1.0. It's pure speculation at this point. Oh, I gotta get this floor. Oh, and there is fuel in there. All right, that's good. We'll we'll have room for it. Does anyone else remember if they've seen an AI node on a reactor in uh, since launch 1.0? And we have a room full of fellow cutters. on the reactor housing Credit that applied. that might be that might be it I feel like I've seen them in the vicinity of it I can't specifically remember seeing them on the reactor I feel like I have but I feel like I did feel like that was an early access they definitely changed some things about how ghost ships spawn and and uh, where the AI nodes can be All right, he's in place. We only got three tethers left. Seems like a good place to use my tethers. Not to drive myself into the processor getting the angle. We normally send it in face first, this time we're turning it sideways. Sure it doesn't get stuck. <laughs> Welcome to Vendatron 9. Uh, Thank you for your Tethers restored. Six minutes. I don't know if we can get the bulk of the work done. Getting the body of this ship into the furnace is going to take time. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Al's hanging out in the processor. Uh, Al's not living the good life anymore, but that's for sure. I miss Hal. I liked him. 
mean, obviously he got a little misguided there, you know, but uh, overall, I, I liked him. Maybe more doors to work with. Something that's nudged the ship and sent it all kilter. Alright, what else do we have left in the ship other than the housing stuff? That goes the processor we need to cut here. To get this done this shift, but I don't see it happening. back in doesn't hurry up and get into the processor because I need that side open. Get in there. Alright, uh, probably some door handles still in the airlocks. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Mention I forklift. Yeah, real good at maneuvering those forklifts back in the early access days of the salvage runner. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Fuel levels restored. All right. I really don't see us getting this done in three minutes. Salvage secured. Applying credit. He's taking too long to move. Get that away from the ship. Processor deposit accepted. Credits are trying to get the ship moved. Don't rotate. Go up. Just go up. Up, up, and away. Like Superman. Dragging the ship. Yeah, it's running into the ship now. It's dragging it. Ah, uh, why did you have to catch that? Now we have to cut you. Make it out. And we'll leave it. That really sounded dark. Now I got to cut you. Didn't mean it that way. Uh, no. Do it here. Trying to avoid all these different plates are on the top, which is why I'm doing this from the outside. Cut her for a reason. Oh, there's a door in the way. Oh, we are making a mess of this now. 
Oh, seriously, you're gonna make me get to the other side, aren't you? I'm kind of committed at this point of just tearing it apart. Making a mess. Still stuck! <laughs> Alright, well. Bullet pipe. Oh, that's the, the segment where we have to cut it. Where she gets angry at us even though we have no choice. By the way, my off-screen meal is always the same thing every week. Good morning, ship breaker. This is your daily wake-up Always a call. whopper. Um... I would guess that was probably shift number three. Might have been shift number four, but I think it's probably shift number three. It's something we don't pay attention to. We just play it until it's done. I stopped worrying about Material how many shifts it takes me to do this stuff a long time ago. I mean, I try to be efficient and and do it in fewer shifts. But um, it'll take as long as it takes to do it right. Although with the way I'm mangling this to a right is kind of subjective. But we are getting a door out of it. Oh. What? You see this? Can't carry it. It's immune to the force push. Uh, we usually do geckos and and uh, processing valuable deposits. Javelins, large javelins in four shifts. Kind of our average. And mackerels and at atlases deposit. at two shifts. Though uh, the roustabout tug atlas, the, the big one, that might be a three shift ship. accepted. Credit applied. Okay, that apparently it snuck into the processor while I wasn't paying attention. Try to awkwardly drag this thing all the way across the way. Tether this. Material accepted. Credits transferred. So we are we are definitely not speedrunners. <laughs> and I I understand why people speedrun some stuff like this, but honestly, don't see the point. I mean, if we were to speedrun this, for example, 
we would be hurrying up to be on another ship doing the exact same thing we're doing in this ship, <laughs> which is cutting things up. <laughs> oh, and like making money isn't a thing. You know, we're already out of debt, so, you know, trying to churn more faster really isn't doesn't give us anything. So it's about enjoying enjoying the game, enjoying the you know solving the puzzle and working on strategies. Raw material deposited. Being thorough, as we're OCD, <laughs> and we get satisfaction out of doing a, a complete thorough job. Yeah, so a smaller ship, uh, a macro, like taking half an hour, that's two shifts. The, a shift is 15 minutes. That's, you're right on par. Why are you still not, it is still not separated. Where do you think that you are still attached? There it is. Two separate pieces now. Yeah, you used you, uh, you use the the physics. Uh, I don't want it to sound insulting when I say it, but they, the the physics exploit. Yeah, that. That's something we very consciously avoid on here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I understand wanting to speed up, especially this process. Material that, that physics bug is the reason why I don't do race. Because you have to exploit the bug in the game in order to be competitive in race. Because everyone else who is doing races are using that bug. It's just not my thing. And I don't want to get used to doing it. Like, it's not something I've practiced. I'm familiar with it. I know how to do it. But it's not something I've practiced. And if it's if I start doing it to be competitive in, in the actual leaderboards, then it'll become a second nature thing that I don't want to be second nature for me. And it would undoubtedly get me some visibility for my channel. I have my name up on a leaderboard, but that's not who we are. Uh, I am fine with the quality viewers that we have. Like-minded quality viewers. You really could move a little faster, buddy. saying you're making a, a, an argument for not using a, the physics exploit and you're just making me look bad really hard to make a supporting argument not to use that exploit when... oh no 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 I looked away Looked away and look what happened. There goes our clean run. And then I just tethered a wall to a wall. You know what? We'll deal with you later. the mood to cut you up even more just get going
a moment to double check, make sure we've got all the door handles. I think we can snake this guy in sideways. But you're really starting to ask for a bisecting. Wouldn't be too hard to do either. Right down the middle. We are not going to go into another shift. Yeah, the, the, the coolant pipe is... It's not the first time I've been caught by that. That's me just... Doing unnecessary stuff and causing problems that I don't need to cause. Being being cute about you know keeping things in as as intact as possible. All right, we're not waiting any longer, and you you had your chance. We've already lost that coolant pipe stuff and the the whole housing for the reactor, so our 99 something percent front is shot. Five minutes left, Cutter. You know what you're doing? Okay. Woo! There it goes. Door console. Oh, we missed a. I looked all over for the door consoles. How did I miss one? It was, it was on that part that went in. Checked and rechecked and rechecked and somehow I still missed it. Any chance I can free up this door without being pulled into the furnace with you? Oh, yep. Got it. Small consolation. Object I think this is a rare case of the processor trying to pull an item in. It's stuck on that wall, it's getting pulled over. Raw material deposited. Transferring credits. I need to get out of the way so that I can free up the tethers. So I can fight with that pipe. forward so we know the furnace has got you. Right. I don't worry about that anymore. Alright, pipe. It's you and me. dangerous at all. Oh, don't come back at us. Duh, duh, duh.
not feeding that furnace anymore. I've had enough. Oh, 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 to come at us. Oh. Yeah, yes, I could definitely cut it. I'm trying to avoid that because anything I cut is going to end up in the furnace. But I think we're going to have to. We only got a minute left. All right, cutter. Time to wrap it up, okay? We're just going to have to give the furnace some of it. Salvage and destroyed. Don't do that. I know it, lady. Did we get our mini me? Uh, it's 95 now. We must have got our mini me already. Look at this. Tell me this isn't ridiculous. Well, we got some piece of it. Now if we can just get it before the end of the shift. Alright, there's our consolation prize. That's going to be mostly furnace at this point. Yeah, that was... that pipe was definitely a lost cause. Uh, I mean, we still got our mini-me, right? Because they made it easier to get mini-me's by putting it down to 95%. But that's not one that we're proud of. I mean, it was entirely my fault. It was... it was. I was getting cheeky with the whole panel, the whole coolant... Um, or reactor casing trying to pull it from the, the the small end of the pipe I knew it was a mistake to do it and I was just I was just watching it while we was doing our stuff because I knew that that was a risk whereas what I should have done was tether from the reactor housing side and flip the whole thing around it would have been a lot more reliable but I was being cheeky I knew I had time to do it because I, was, I knew it was gonna take time to deal with the rest of the ship and I just Looked away for a moment and. Hello, sure enough. Breaker. This is your morning wake up call. <clears throat> Probably check our tools. No, everything's fine. Alright, so uh, probably a Javelin and an Atlas. Typically we do one of each ship. Da, 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 da. We're at two and a half hours, we assume. Four shifts for the Javelin, which puts a three and a half. Yeah, we have time. Fair. Um, so maybe we, maybe we do a roustabout tug and, yeah, there's one right there. What are our javelin options? That's the medium javelin. We don't care about that. There's one of the big boys. I, I think we want to try to, to do one of the tankers. So we haven't done, I mean, I, I want to do the heavy cargo more because... I'm really liking the heavy cargo one. We haven't done a tanker in a really long time. Well, let's do the rest about tug. And then we can uh, swing around and get ourselves a uh, probably a tanker. Javelin.
Yeah, I think that we were talking earlier about the custom ship. The first custom ship is out there. I think it's called the Wombat. I said the Moth, and I knew it wasn't the Moth. For some reason, it just came to mind. I feel like the Wombat was the name of it. All right, as always, we're going to leave everything alone on this ship and just deal with the engines first because we know that there's always the potential of fortunate incidents if we uh, attach the or uh, work the engines without having a high mass. Up, up, and away. Come on, guys. Come on, you can do it. Threatening with the red tethers. Valuable objects processed. Credits awarded. Also, if we do them first, then we don't run into what I did last time, where we where we cut open a uh, a thruster at the last second and then run out of time before we actually get to the the fuel switch. <laughs> so that was that was very harrowing. I would like to see difficulty levels, you know, setting in this game, so that we could play it on expert. Because there are a lot of things that they've they've made so easy as to be, you know, the hazards are just not hazards anymore. I would like for things to be more hazardous. Deposit you. registered. Account credited. Tethers left. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. Object processed. Transferring credit. Salvage secured. Credit left. Let's do these. Let's do these together. See if we can get away with not burning any pipe. Caution. Tether supply depleted. Quicker about this. Be along the top. Ow! Yeah, pull this little fire. Never hurt, never hurt on a bike. Come on, pull the switch and stop shaking your hand and pull it. Stupid. Forward. Bottom. Ah, we lost pipe. Didn't make it. Close. I uh, took a little time going around that, around the, the hook there. Still don't think that built in. I still don't think we would have saved it. We'll try to get on the. Uh, I'll try to get on the other one. Yeah, it probably is a good idea to. Uh, we didn't check to see if there was any free thruster fuel on the inside. Welcome to Vendetron 9000. Thank you for your. We're gonna look. We're gonna look for thruster fuel first before we buy it because we're cheap. Probably should have bought the thruster fuel over there. To your to your point. 
we're gonna try again to see if we can uh, if we can do this before we burn any pipe. Oh, I almost hit the thruster on that one. Part of the problem with doing this is you gotta be fast and accurate. Warning. Fuel levels are critical. Oh, that was a bad bump. What? Fuel pipe already damaged? Oh, that's burning faster than the last time. Oh, I am just all over the place. Oh, rain of fire. Yeah, that was sloppy. Yeah, the, the pipe burned a lot faster on that one. There was, there was no way we were going to do that in time. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Concentric, we, we can, you can get around without fuel. Uh, ve veterans of this, of this channel are... Uh, quite familiar with my my experiences of running out of fuel. Back before one point, because right now it it, it does that. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Uh, before one point oh, it didn't do that. It just gave you the the basically the one audio warning of you're running low on fuel, and then and then it shut up about it. And I would run out of fuel all the time. So there was a whole lot of dragging myself around with uh, with the grappler and and, uh, and hand walking. I don't remember how to do it now. There we go. Uh, across the master jack. Hey, buggy. Well, that was a long time. Yeah, you can absolutely get around without without your fuel. Where you get in real danger is you you're low on oxygen too. Oh. Can't get back to the jack quickly because you're out of fuel. Yeah, so a a, a fuel canister gives you exactly. I think it's exactly the same amount of fuel that your um, unupgraded fuel tank can handle. So that's that's uh, the equivalent of a starter fuel tank. As you get as you get fuel upgrade uh, fuel tank upgrades, it no longer fills it up. And yeah, it's it's really noticeable at this point where it seems like it's very little. But it's kind of nice because uh, once you've got the upgrades, you now you know you're not wasting any of the fuel that's in the canister. You don't have to be out of fuel to pick them up and still get the full canister. All right, so we have we have a working regulator on the bottom. Okay, just the bottom floor. That's all it connects to. It's the Nomad that has the the one piece to the back. And you're working regular up here, did I? There is the regulator. Oh, there is. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go outside. And we are going to remove the bottom. Airlock depressurizing. Uh, correct. The uh, the kiosk will fully fill up your uh, your fuel regardless of your capacity. But you know, picking up that canister and even getting the partial fill is buying us time from having to spend money on the. 
at the Master Jack, and anywhere that we can avoid giving money to uh, Lynx Corp. Hey, Cutter. The win for us. Five minutes left in this shift. All right. They got enough money already. All right, so we had to detach this from the bottom so that we could cut out that bottom floor. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to move the floor after we depressurized the room. Airlock pressurizing. Seal off the upstairs. Air pressure level decreasing. Is go inside and use the other regulators to depressurize the upstairs. That guy went in the right place. Did very good. Get the lights off of it. Processing object. Any lights on it could have been on the other half too. All right, we got the lights off of the bottom one. It was the top one we didn't. Here it is. But we don't want to send the top one in yet because we have not removed all the front deposit off. Applying credit to account. In fact, we should, let's just do that now while we're thinking about it. No, we'll forget. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Salvage registered. That grab. Transferring credits. Go. from that confirmed. furnace. Applying Told credit. you to go forward. I like children. You gotta watch them. The rest of the lights when we're thinking about it. Accepted for processing. Look at that, the furnace is still trying to take it through the wall. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. You're watching the clock, Cutter? You've got one minute left. Account credit. Aditi, that's why I'm doing the stuff on the front. I was re-watching uh, the Batman Batman Beyond uh, movie days ago, which has the, uh, the other pair of DDs. The, uh, the Joker gang. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. They're not quite as friendly, though. Then 
I like the way it's turning. Lights? Were there lights that I missed? Hmm. Right, the lights on the inside, you're right. Take. We'll run we'll run and grab that immediately. Boy, we lost a lot of money on that fuel pipe fiasco. But you know, living on the edge. 1.3% from the fuel pipes. That is a lot. I didn't think that our, our shenanigans were, were that expensive. Your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. See that? I think that that click used to go straight into it, and now we get another press to continue that I don't think we used to get. All right. Are you right, Jake? Got the light. Secured. Not said anything, we would have lost it. I completely forgot about it. Oh, really? Not you too. Don't do us any good. Air pressure level decreasing. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! Oh no no no! No no! That's bad. Away from that before it blows up. Boy, that thing caught on that corner caught on fire real fast. Oh. I knew there was no way we were going to salvage that. I was like, get me out of here. I, would, I immediately looked for an exit. I stopped cutting because I knew that that beam had a bad angle and it had already caught fire that fast. Yeah, I know. Always remove the tanks. Was sloppy. If my beam hadn't hadn't taken a shortcut through that corner, then it wouldn't have been a problem. But I didn't play it safe. I played it fast. Deposit accepted. Come back to bite me. Processing valuable object. 
credits awarded. All we needed was to get the floor out, uh, the roof out of the way. The rest of the stuff can, can stay. Don't worry about it for now. That's a problem for future me. Oh, bad cut. It's all over the place, aren't I? I don't think we've lost our 95 yet. Secured. Account credit applied. But you're correct. We are going to have to be real careful. In fact, we can check. Yeah, we're at 2.9% failure rate. But we can still make it. Um, I think all the doors that we need to open are already open. We are going to salvage doors because we need to, we need every, every little percent that we can get at this point. We are keeping that mini me. Processing valuable deposit. We are still at a hundred percent mini me. We have not failed a ship in this run. Material accepted. Fuel I think, I was going to say, the door has already been blown out, but it hasn't. Some door got blown out. I think it, was, it must have been one of these back ones. We turned in a floating door. Don't get a free pass, buddy. I guess since we're back here, let's grab these. There to pull all the power nodes. <clears throat> Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Salvage secured. Applying credit. <laughs> yeah, the, the the voice to text did seem a little confusing. I, I got the gist of what you're talking about. Uh, those are, right there is all of the thrusters. I can see all four of them down there. They probably went in about the same time as each other and therefore didn't report individually. That would be my guess. It's always been a little unreliable on getting it to report everything.
Alright, the rest of these out of the way. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Lights are taken off. Looks like we already took the lights. I don't feel like we should be able to move these with our, our grappler. But you know, we didn't used to be able to. That's why I still tether them. See, this feels awkward to me that we can actually move that large of an object with our grappler. So sometimes it is useful, like if the back end is trying to get near the furnace, discourage it. Oh, don't you lodge yourself in there. Oh, that was close. And it's definitely useful for getting these guys back a little bit so you can actually left, get Kyle, them away okay? from the... ...from the, uh, the fuel. There's a little room to work with. paranoid cutting around these things right now knowing that we're we're fighting for our mini me salvage deposit secured credits awarded probably not smart might be back a little too far to pull this off. Oh, and you turned on me. That does not make this easier. If we can flip them around properly, then we don't have to worry about the furnace. They're, since we pushed them back a little bit, they're a little more susceptible here. On here that doesn't belong. Yeah, the first shift tends to be the you know, getting the depressurization done and the, the initial prep work for for uh, the main salvaging operations and the subsequent. I think the only ship that we get more of on the first shift than any other shift is the Javelin. And that's because we intentionally challenge ourselves to see how much we can make on, one, on the first shift. We don't work those traditionally. You just... object process. I'm not giving you any more tethers. You're getting the boost in the butt treatment. Then and a half, I think my fuel can hang out. The 
material deposit. I'm really pushing it on this one. Account credit applied. I didn't see any other functional fuel canisters. Goal cleared. Rewards allocated. Well, it, it comes down to how much I move. <laughs> If I don't move so much, then I won't run out of fuel. You've got one minute left. I mean, we're still doing stuff. Just got to monitor these guys anyway. Yeah, my oxygen won't run out. When, when you have, after you get three oxygen upgrades, I think uh, you you will have uh, you'll have enough oxygen to last an entire ship. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. And then you just get a free oxygen refill between shifts. Three percent. We uh we we cannot afford a, a a big mess up. We gotta do everything right. Under the old system, we would we would have already lost our mini me. Suzuki, I missed your, I missed your comment about this being a ship breaker. Yeah, I'd definitely, uh, definitely breaking this ship more than cutting it. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. Fuel immediately. All right, I think we got all of the stuff from the bottom floor already. They get the outer shells out of the way. Okay, the plate is processor, so we're gonna need to separate that. Airlock is depressurized. Yeah, we'll we'll run the tethers out entirely. We're uh, we're too cheap to give. Not like that bump. I got pushed back. No, we're we're not giving Lynx Corp anything anything for free. Back in uh, early, early access, uh, your your uh, demo charges and your I think the demo charges did, but your tethers would refill for free between shifts. I think the demo charges did too. It was super nice. We got really spoiled with that. Got the inside. Material process. Credits deposited. Didn't mean to nudge the ship like that. 
something now. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Object accepted. Some of this junk out of the way, so I don't want to credit accidentally deposit. cut it. Put the walls away. Salvage every piece of scrap we can. Yeah, debris everywhere. It was. I am honestly surprised that the explosion wasn't worse than it was. I, we got lucky on it. It didn't spread to the other other side. It could have been way worse. This this could have been our first mini me loss. If it had spread to the downstairs, it would have been, you know, because the reactor was still there. I think the reactor was still there. It, yeah, it could have been way worse. I was, I expected at least for the entire top to be blown up. But I thought it would get to the, it would get to the other side and take out the other tank. I just know that when I saw that corner light up, all I could think about was how can I get out of this room? <laughs> you know, like, I can't fly past it. Oh, there was more fuel in here. Look, it didn't even blow up the air fuel. Uh, I, see, I couldn't fly past it. I'm like, the only place I can go is the cockpit, and the cockpit is still pressurized. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. It could it it could have gone way worse. <laughs> I saw that that corner catch fire. My my life just flashed before my eyes. I'm like, oh, it's all over. We're gonna grab one of these two. Every percent counts right now. Alright, let's get the other side out. Corporation. I don't remember the ship name or this this corporation name. Must be a must be a really minor one because I totally do not recognize them. I don't expect that they've added new paint jobs. Now I want to empty the. I don't want to accidentally cut something, so we'll empty the top floor before we cut that out. Just need to not forget about it. Salvage goal achieved. Rewards allocated.
also should once over this real quick to make sure we didn't miss any, you know, like small lights on the bottom. Sometimes they have those little running lights on them. Pretty good, I think we got it all. Ah, oh well. <clears throat> Valuable object processed. Credit deposited. I do like these where you're able to cut the canopy off the front rather than having to cut the glass out individually. Feels cleaner. All right, I think that's the bottom of the ship. Valuable deposit. Credits transferred. We're in, you're in, all right. A little awkward angle here because the ship ship has moved. Come on, turn blue, turn blue. There you go. All right, cancel. Salvage secured. Applying credit. All right, puppy, no petting. We need credit for it. <clears throat> yeah, the, the glass is definitely a pain on the other ships. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. into. Oh, right. We closed the door <laughs> so we could cut it out. Five minutes left in the shift, Cutter, okay? Okay. Okay. Should be the entire cockpit. Oh, we lost the light. No. Where did we lose a light? I shot it in with one of the door. Oh, that's. <laughs> That's unfortunate because the doors are worth less than that light. <laughs> determined last time that we make more money by sending these canisters into the furnace than if we because if we collect them we don't get any money if we turn them in they get treated like scrap we actually get a little bit it's not a whole lot but it's something a reason not to collect them i mean we make we save more by grabbing the thruster fuel than we would make off of Running out of the scrap, but don't need them. Oh, there we go. The oh no 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 no! Why did I, I said processor and then I threw the door console in there? Oh, I can't be making those mistakes. 
processor was the pipe, not the... Oh my goodness. I'm trying to ruin our, our mini-me. As soon as I let go of it, wait, no! That's not right! Where are we at? 3.4%. And of course we got gray from the explosion. Probably more at like 3.8%, 3.9%. Gotta pay attention. Deposit accepted for processing. Uh, still gonna do it. We're gonna. I'm, I'm confident we're gonna do it. We have never failed a mini me. We are not gonna do it now. Some days are just you know you're off rhythm. It's just the way it is. You gotta take every little bit you get. <laughs> Shift's almost done, Cutter. One minute left. Alright. Don't have room in our, can in our fuel tank yet to grab that. Alright, what's left? I think we just start the shift and push this whole thing into the furnace, and that's it. I think we've got everything else. Need your time to be extra thorough on this. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not finished. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not finishing on this one. We we could have tried to get it into the furnace fast enough. We might had if I had uh, started it. But I want to be I want to be thorough because we're so close to our enemy. I want to make sure we're not missing a door console or something. Yes, yeah, so, Sashiki, so you're right. I, I should be grabbing those red lights. Normally we don't because they're so fiddly and they're a pain to target, but. We're, uh, we're, we're right on the edge. I mean, right now, I think we're okay. But I'll grab a few while it's on its way in. I don't, I don't think so, considering I, I don't think that those red lights are going to make the difference. Good morning, Cutter 93. We're going to grab some of them anyway, but I don't think so. All of them add up to basically nothing. But we'll grab some on the way. Okay, there was so little it doesn't even show their value when you turn them in. That's how nothing they are. And they have no mass. Zero kilograms. Yeah, they have a little bit of value. That's that is correct. Otherwise, I wouldn't be grabbing them at all. But um, without any mass, they don't really. I'm out of tethers. 
They don't really uh, impact the percentage. Did I, get, did I actually get all of them? I got all of them. And without tether, well, at least the ship's light enough for me to move myself, so I don't have to go back and get tethers. There are no canisters that we need to get. We'll get scrap value for the O2 canister, so that's better than picking it up. All furnace, 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 furnace. I definitely got the door handle on the inside of the cockpit. Dippers. All right, we're, we're just going to get out and push. And let's look for anything that didn't make it to the barge. That's our fuel canister. Material accepted. Credits assigned. And we should see a mini bee any moment now. Just confidently. There it is. Never a doubt. Material deposited. So the O2 canister gave us zero, but it, when we turned in the, the fuel canisters, it gave us something. I don't remember what it was. Maybe they're, maybe they're treated differently. Thank you for your Heather's restored. And it looks like there's no, no gray left, so it's that's all of it. Yeah, had, had this been... Pre, back in early access, then we, we wouldn't have got the mini me because it used to be 98% was the mini me. This definitely would have been a loss. But, uh. We did it with plenty of room to spare. Like a whole percent. A wayward pickle that fell out of my sandwich. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Today's weather report, clear and sunny, with a high of minus two. It's good that we, we got degrees. it's good that we got that out of our system so that we can get in we can go into our javelin. Ready though. Ready to do it right. You're gonna give us a javelin tanker. Uh, that's a medium. And they really want us to do heavy cargo, don't they? I really want to do a anchor. All right, we're gonna start a ship, and then then. Uh... Oh, we don't even have to start a ship, right? We just have to leave, just have to exit, and then come back in, and it should give us a new. As much as I want to do the heavy cargo, I want to do. We haven't done a, a tanker in a long time. Uh, yeah, I think this uh, this refreshes the the uh, list as well. That's my your two your tools showcase your accomplishments accomplishments with stickers by links. That was very nice of links to, to sponsor our stickers. Good 
morning cutter 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. The greatest reward in life is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. Uh, oh, it gave us a tanker and it made it a, a, a ghost ship. With the ghost ship, and it, it would it would muck with our our attempt. Try again. <sighs> I miss the old the old interface uh, where you could select your ship type and you could go up and down the. Uh, the hazard levels, as opposed to just being that one one list on the side. <clears throat> if we apply stickers, we're, we're responsible for the adhesive. I wouldn't. I would not doubt it. Congratulations on your achievement. You've been awarded a sticker. That'll be extra if you actually want adhesive to stick it to anything. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. It keeps showing us that one on the front, but it, we're definitely getting a different list beyond that. Oh, that's medium. What is it with you guys wanting us to do? It's really trying to push us to that. It's definitely a different list outside of that. I'm curious. This is the Hudson Industries, the Smith. We're going to see if it's the same one. I think we have a heavy, heavy cargo javelin as our first selection every single time. Well, you know, uh, Jake, if they were if they were held on by magnets, I. I would expect that they would probably get demagnetized as soon as we we use the grappler. I feel like that field probably would nullify the uh, the magnetic effect. Although we were talking uh, last week, so you you mentioned that we were talking last week about uh, features we would like to see because uh, you know, there was an update. I think there was an update. Anyway, uh, content changes or, or improvements. Good morning, ship As you mentioned, that I I would like, like to, to see us get magnetic message. boots. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit processor and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. It's not not, uh, not a, an idea I've had for a long time. See, it's always a javelin heavy cargo the top one, although it's a different one this time. Yeah, exactly. The first time you use a pulse, they would, your, all your stickers would go everywhere. What is up with these guys? They don't want to give us a, a, a large. Now I'm just determined. But, uh, magnetic boots. It's a... It's not a feature I've thought about for a while now, but I think magnetic boots would be a really cool thing for us to get. Because the the upgrades to your suit are more or less useless. Uh, for the most part. Like, you know, there's all the the hazard upgrades that, you know, like we haven't even bought all of them because we just don't care. And uh, if... Uh, you know, they could add something like magnetic boots and maybe the strength them or something like that. <clears throat> yeah, Space Engineers has magnetic boots, right? Yeah, it's really not being cooperative on giving us a, a ship that we want. Good morning, ship breaker. You think we could send a message to Lou or say, hey, you know, hey, do you have one of these? See, look, there's another one there. It's the Smith Explorer this time. Last time it was just the Smith. 
and it's it's a different company, but it's always a heavy cargo javelin on the top. I feel like that's oh there we go, and it's a Ferro Rojo. All right, worth the wait. Our favorite company. Oh, hazard level seven. Why? Why? I was so excited. Nope. Ship not acquired. It's too easy. We're going to try a couple more times. If we can't get a, a, a level 9 large tanker, then we'll probably just go ahead and... I mean, the game obviously wants us to do the, the heavy cargo. And I enjoy the heavy cargos. It's not... I wouldn't be mad about doing one. Well, yes, I want a level 9. It should... There's no reason for me to have something that's easier. It's already too easy as it is. I want, I want the maximum. We only do have a level 9. It shouldn't be asking that much. This many refreshes. We're getting the, the tanker version every single time. It's supposed to be random. We should be able to get the, the fuel one at large. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Lynx mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. The Dodger. I think that that one being stuck on top is is th throwing a monkey wrench in it because it's it's pushing the other types down. We're gonna take this and abandon it, which I. Th think won't actually do anything. I think that gives us the, the, the same list. Uh, there is not a level 10. Hazard level 9 is the, the most hazardous you can get. Uh, so, yeah, Suzuki, Suzuki we could... We could take the ship and then just go right back into the hab and, and take the hit of of uh, the daily fees. But we have never... Every ship we've loaded, we've done a mini-me on. So technically that would be a ship we wouldn't get a mini-me on. There's another pickle to fill out. Hello, shipbreaker 9346-52. Lynx was, I was confused because it looked like a looked like a. Message. Some people dream of great salvage. Just the outer side of it, so it looked like a. Uh, it did change it. Damn! What? Why? Why have you forsaken us? We're not going to just keep doing this. <laughs> the, big, the great pickle escape. I, I get uh, I get my whoppers with extra pickles. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Uh, this will be the last ship of the stream. Fortunately, we are we are ahead of the curve because so I think that that gecko we did. In, I think we did it in, in three shifts, or almost completely three shifts, which bought us a little extra time. But we are we are ahead of the curve anyway on time. <clears throat> well, now we're right on the curve. We if we would actually start the ship, we would be right on time. Good morning, shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the Lady, key the only inspirational success. message I need is here is the ship you're looking you do, for. You will be successful. The swordfish. Uh, we'll talk about the the custom ship that was called the sword ship. Swordfish.
Look, they're they're really sticking it to us now. There wasn't even a even there isn't even a small one on this one. I should cut this this bit out into a video and send it to uh, EBI as evidence for the 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 poor routine for giving new ships. We never had this problem before they changed the way the ships are generated on the list. <clears throat> because the job board used to be sectioned by hazard level as opposed to it being one one list. <clears throat> so if like hazard level 9 didn't have the ship you wanted, then you could just go down to hazard level 8 and it'd be a whole new list. It was a lot easier to find a ship type that you were looking for. All the team at Lynx would like to wish you a happy and productive day. Yes, I am look I am looking for the longest ship in the in the game. That's correct. That's why we're not taking that, because that's the that's the middle the the medium size one. There we go. Hazard level nine, large one, the Helix Company. It's painted like a Ferro, Ferro Rojo, but uh, it's Felix. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, before we take it, let's check our tools because we're, we're, we're going to be doing our first, first shift. Uh, how much money we can make. Everything's fine. Yeah, yeah, everything's all right. <clears throat> Buster's a little, a little afraid, but all right. So the the uh, hopefully it's a double ring because we know sometimes randomly these aren't double ringed, even though even though this picture has it. So we get the first ring off, the back ring off, oh, first ring off, all the tanks back ring and, and the antennas, and then we go for the reactor. If all goes real smoothly, we might be able to get the uh, power generator out of the front, but that's pretty rare. Let me sit up. Ah. Stretch. Okay. On the clock. There we go. be extra careful because you can cut those ion rings. They really don't want to do because they are very valuable. Are in the hole. We're used to flying across and getting all these, but now they don't have the middle ones. Probably should be putting them like this instead. I don't hit that one too hard because it would ram, ram into the uh, 
Ion ring. There's the ring. Credits. Credited. Oh, that won't go very far until I cut it. Almost made it all the way down there on his own anyway. Really surprising. Catch it on the edge of the salvage accepted. Credit applied. Those uh four beams. <clears throat> now it doesn't end up tethering it to the ship, and that doesn't do me any good. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Back to there, guy, in a moment. I want to get Ion Ring moving. Oh, it is. There has not expired yet. Oh well. It'll expire before the new one does. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. <clears throat> Okay, we do have two rings. Excellent. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Oh, that was weird. Uh, we're leaving that guy there for now. We're not pulling him around. Don't want him to be in the way. Salvage secured. I forgot Applying to open credit. the airlock as we went by. Salvage secured. Credit deposit. Knock, knock. Oh, you stupid thing. Oh, we lost a regular because of that. I 
Annoying. Very annoying. All right. All right, please get out of our way. out of our way. Please get out of our way a little more quickly. It's a tethers because I did that in the wrong order. I said, nope, too late now. We not have access to all. Man, it's been too long since we've been in this ship. I didn't get them cut. Cut the one thing and didn't cut the others. What did you? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. No, you're not. You're not Salvage doing that. It's all tethers. Because we can't tell tethers, we need this. Just the back wall still. Lights off those on the inside. So Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. All right. Uh, I think we're gonna abandon the back half. Transferring credits. But I hope that doesn't try to go into the furnace. Air 
airlock depressurizing. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Okay, I think he's past it. I forgot to open this airlock on our way through. Well... Air pressure level. Processing valuable deposit. Credit transferred. Pull these, they don't go crazy. Yep. Oh, why'd you throw me off like that? I was supposed to hit that switch and then it's fly right on through. Warning me. One minute left, Cutter. Start finishing things up. All right? Fuses, fuses, fuses. Material deposited. Account credit applied. There are doors that we're not going to be able to open. Oh! I knew I missed that one. I have time for it. It was less important than this. All right, well, we got all the major targets. Deposit yeah, like this. Secured. Door handle's Credit probably not going to work now. Nope. Get around the... Deposit accepted. Ah. Centric cashew. Sorry, you had to go, or hopefully you uh, got to at least see the uh, the the first shift. Eighteen point seven, not bad. I think nineteen three is our. You know, I really should record these things. I mean, other than on the video, I think nineteen three is our our record. But uh, yeah, somewhere near eight, somewhere near nineteen. That was that was really good. I was a little sloppy on it too. I'm pretty good about that. We lost, we lost a unnecessarily lost an a airlock console uh, that got damaged or uh, uh, atmospheric regular. So that cost us a little bit. Had I not missed the connectors on that back uh, inner ring? I had to go back in and recut them, then we probably would have got another ring section off and turned in. That cost us a little Good bit. Good morning, shift breaker. Your allocated shift time will be commencing shortly. Uh, 18.7, plus 18.8 is really respectable. It wouldn't blow anything up. Applying credits to account. 
Uh, we are going to have to deal with that, because now that we can't open the door to get in there properly, that's going to be problematic. Like I said, we could have got this back ring. I've been a little bit, a little bit smoother. We could have got this back ring off. And that would have been easy to turn in. Just cut this little walkway and then just slide it off towards the other side. We also would have got credit for the walkway. Then we just slide it off. Just, just slide it. Just encourage it to leave, and then it would have gone in. That would have been free money. Of course, we definitely couldn't have handled this stuff. We also lost a little money on the fuse that I just mistimed. That was my fault. I knew as soon as I pressed the button, I was just a fraction of a second too late. I should have waited for the next cycle. Material accepted. Credits transferred. You know, I got lined up late. I was like, oh, we're just going to take the risk. Side is stuck. Side. Please stop running into stuff. Okay, let's. <laughs> Not supposed to still be stuck, but that's okay. Line, it couldn't cut all the way across. But I normally do both top and bottom before I go back and fix any of them that didn't disconnect properly. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. You're good, you're not. Flip upside down to do the other half. I don't miss having done these air airlocks. This is the biggest pain. so closed in on things that you can cut by accident. And then the walls 
that the that the connect that it connected to are edible, so you have to laser them out. Where's the barge at? Really facing the wrong direction. Oh, we forgot to call this in last time too. That was some money we would have gotten. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. After I canceled tethers, I was supposed to tether this to the processor. That's some of our missing money. Deposit confirmed. Applying credit. How much we get, get for it? Valuable object accepted for processing. We won't turn anything else in for a moment. We'll start, tether, or start uh, setting these. Under 53,000. Yeah, that would have made a difference. That said panel. That's weird. We got two reports there. I think that was two two segments of it. That would have made a difference. But we're out of practice, which is why we're doing it again. <laughs> Went back to this after having done the uh, other type so many times. <laughs> oh, that's it for demo charges. Oh, not tethers. Demo charges. Hopefully we're low on tethers, because I just gave some free tethers to Lynx Corp. Did, did our guy just start freaking out when we were flying over? Oh yeah, he's... Something's going on inside there, because he's nervous. There's a hazard here. We need to get inside. There might be an electrical thing going on or something. I mean, we haven't heard any anything being destroyed. If it was a fire, we would have got a bunch of reports for destruction. Something's definitely got him worked up. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, I agree. It's probably the fuse that caused the problem, but you shouldn't still be freaking out about it. Let's cut that one from the other side so that we don't have to drag the door handle that helps. Maybe that PTSD from, from that shock. I can't blame him. I've been electrocuted pretty good a few times. I don't like to get anywhere near any, any anything electrical. Any exposed anything. I have a buddy from high school. Last time audit. I talked to him, he mentioned to he was aware of one of my electric electrocution stories. 
We're back at high school. It, uh, he, last time I talked to him, he said that he told his daughter here. about it as a cautionary it tale. Like, oh great, thanks a lot. <laughs> doing other things, but we were here, so... Well, we stopped in because of the... freaking out. Yeah, exactly. Cautionary there, There's been a couple of times in my life that have made me feel old. That being one of them. You know, high school friend talking to him. He's old enough to understand daughter. Uh, I remember uh, the first time that I felt old, and I was definitely not old. But, uh, I stopped by a friend's house uh, on Christmas Eve. I don't remember what I was doing. I was downtown. I was downtown Christmas Eve. I think I was coming home from, from playing some Magic the Gathering or something like that, back in the, the early days of Magic. And he was a, a fellow Magic the Gatherer guy. And he had a couple of daughters. Valuable object and uh, his home was on the way from downtown towards my place. So I thought, I'll stop in and say hi to him. I hadn't seen him in a little while. And... Uh, He, is, he had both of his daughters for the weekend. Oh. You know, he was divorced. Uh, but he had, he had his two daughters. And his uh, oldest daughter was probably in the neighborhood of 16, 15, 16 years old. Um, and, uh, and his younger daughter was, I don't know. I, I'm not good at judging. No, I have kids. She was probably seven or eight, whatever. And he had both of them over, and it was it was Christmas Eve. It was like ten o'clock, Christmas Eve, dark out, One. and uh, Fuel levels are low. Fuel his two daughters were in the living room next room over. We were we were just hanging out in his in his kitchen. The guys were in the next in the next room over, and his older daughter is, you know, 15, 16, maybe, you know, somewhere in that area. She was in her pajamas playing with her little sister, you know, ahead of Christmas and paid no attention whatsoever that I was in the next room over. I mean, it was like, they're attached rooms. It wasn't a doorway in between. And she was completely oblivious to the fact that there was a still not old man in the next room over and she didn't think anything of it. The fact that she was you know, in her PJs. It's like it, it was. I was her dad's friend, and I was like, "Oh, I feel so old." She should be seeing me as a young guy who's in the house, and she should be conscious of the fact that she's half naked. One minute left to finish things up. Cutter. You know, I wasn't looking at her like that, but it isn't the point. You know, you expect the, you expect young girls to be conscious of there's a guy. You know, there's there's a guy around, and I'm in my PJs. But no, no, I was her dad's friend, so I was too old for her to be conscious of there being a, a, a young man in the house. I was like, oh, at least, at least pretend that she's a, you know, a, that there's a guy in the house. <laughs> Not so old. Like, she's too young for me, but I, not so young that it should have been aware, you know, that I wasn't so old that it was like super creepy. Oh, we need to cut in a little while.
anyway, that's my 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 first. I mean, I, I was probably twenty-two, something like that. I wasn't even remotely close to old, but you know, had I been eighteen or nineteen in the house, and it would have been, oh, there's a boy in the house, and then she would have had to go and, and you know get dressed. So that was a thing. It's always funny when you, the, the milestones, you know, as you get older, the milestones that you cross that seemed Hello, ship breaker. so significant before you got to them. Message. The last 10% of a job takes as and then much when you get there, they're the not significant at all. Which is why it's so important to always give 110%. It's like, why did I... You know, you, you always view older milestones as being old until you get to them. Then you're like, that's same same as yesterday, you know. I don't feel like you fundamentally change. Your age doesn't mean anything. All right, I think we want to, I think we normally just cut here. Oh, that's annoying. I'm trying to remember how we've adjusted this, because now that we no longer have to do the the small cuts around the edges, because now that it's not more expensive to use your your demo charges. Still an old habit of cutting the specific beams to be able to dismantle this whole thing. The melting beams, don't you want to be mean to me, lady? that to the wrong side. I mean, whether or not we could slide this out, but I don't think we can. I think that thing, that shielding there blocks it. Applying credits to account. Deposit Do this one more time. Yeah, he is still freaking out about that. Object process. Transferring credit. Oh, they shouldn't have cut that. want to remind me of my mistake, don't they? Oh, oh that in two pieces. Doesn't make any sense.
drag the whole ship. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Gonna take off with that. If I, if I cut this properly, it's gonna accepted. take off. Take that with it. I have to chase it Not from this side in case I have to run after it. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Warning: fuel levels are critical. Return to the master jack to purchase supplies. Ah. Why? I predict that it's going to be a problem. Why do I still do it? Moving, I'm moving. Line it up. There we go. You can resume on your way. Salvage deposit accepted. Nine minutes. Credit I don't know if we, can, if we can get it done in nine minutes. Let's go ahead and get fuel now to kind of get inside and stay inside. I think we can do this in a shift. Although we'll be we'll be ahead of we'll be ahead of the schedule by a shift, so Slide that. Yeah, it's secured. still arcing. That's where it is. Just waiting for something to get close enough to it to destroy it. Processing. 
I just about sent that. She said for processing, and I heard the word processor and almost sent that in. Yeah. Well, the, the, the fuse was haunting him, that's what it was. He had to bury it in his past. It was evidence of the crime, he had to destroy it. Gun bounce in. Looks like you are. Hopefully, I got everything. Material accepted. Credits assigned. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Five minutes left, Cutter. All good? Good. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Head on the move. Not a good cut. And it didn't get both sides. Lights attach. Weapons are floating, I think. Salvage secured. Applying credit. All right. If there are any lights that we're not seeing, then that's just tough because we're not coming back for it. That's real close if we're going to do it in three minutes. Oh, don't go inside the roof. Okay, then you just stay inside there. You got time for you. Above the airlock? What is above the airlock? I am not sure what you're referring to. What's on the what is on the other side? What am I looking for? You do you mean this? Yeah, well we're gonna definitely go for the full. Oh, okay. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. That's... I'm going to take long to get this in the furnace. It's pretty light. Well, I'm not too worried about that. But in the world is going on. Deposited. Applying credit to account. Processing valuable deposit. Credit transferred. Oh, don't go crazy on us. Please. Thank you. Oh, uh, no, we're not going to make it. We got the pipes to deal with. There's no way we, we deal with the pipes uh, in a minute. We know we know how tr troublesome those guys can be.
That's all right. I mean, One we won't have hardly any, any shift after One this. Minute. Out, or are you just gonna drag the whole ship with you? Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. I'm gonna cancel Asset the tethers on that because it's not gonna get in in eight seconds and we haven't credit done a transfer. thorough for things like that. We needed uh, about 30 more seconds. Oh, we already got our mini me. Excellent. Hello, ship breaker 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. Tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. Is she trying to imply that we are doing very little effort? That we're working our butts off here. Or is she trying to mock me for getting electrocuted? Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Yeah, I think that was all of it. Light went through the barge. That shouldn't be a thing. Anymore. I mean, we have seen one go through, one object go through, but that was after the barge was already lit. I don't think so. I've only sent these two lights. This is a door console, right? Oh, I think I think it caught it. That shouldn't be a thing anymore. Oh, it didn't register? I heard the, the dink on the little, the little one. Well, it's here to stay. <laughs> one way, one way or another, it is here to stay. That one I heard dink when it, when it crossed it. I mean, you know, the little one, it never shows us anyway. But we'll uh, we'll check the summary at the end to see if we got credit. I think that's the only light we've sent in this ship. Oh, we got another one right there to send in. So this will be two lights, Salvage or three registered. if they're counting the, the, the little credit. button light. I think it just generically says light. We should see three lights. Or four lights. It's complicated a little more. Bye bye. All right. Some, ooh, we got all kinds of stray stuff. So 
five lights. I think it'll be six. I'm pretty sure we saw another one. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Six lights. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Anybody else straight up here? I was like, well, that's a bright light in the distance. That's the sun. <laughs> Do you see that they launched the Artemis? We're on our way back to the moon. I missed it too. It, it, it annoys me. I was I was sitting online watching all the other attempts to launch the Artemis, and I missed this one. The one time they actually managed to launch it. The worst thing is, I was up. I was up sitting here, and I just completely didn't realize it was the day. Probably playing League of Legends or something. Killing some time. Oh, there's the last scrap. I knew we'd only gotten two of these. Alright, that's everything. We are good to go. Six lights. Six lights. That's what we should see. I don't think this is actually a thing. That's the random debris. Six lights. Then the three button lights. So it caught it caught it. It just didn't it probably just didn't show it. As we know, sometimes it just misbehaves and doesn't tell us. Breaker lights. Oh, I think those are the breaker lights are the ones that are on the uh, fuse panel, I think. So we didn't find any new uh, posters. <laughs> But we got to revisit some old ships and, uh, and, and get a little bit more back in practice. It was definitely a fun run. We got a 99.4 on our first ship, which was awesome. Good morning, ship breaker. This is your daily wake up call. Uh, we didn't check out, I kind of wanted to check out the. I don't have color blindness, but I kind of wanted to see what the. Because from what I gathered, you can you can select. Okay, so here it is, color deficiency mode. Oh, nice! So they've they've named it by the type of uh, the the different types of uh, of color blindness that you can have. I don't know these because I'm. Wow, I didn't realize there were that many options. I went random. If there's anything that, yeah, I think I think we actually have to be on the ship to see it. Cause I think it's supposed to be the the hub. Uh, maybe we'll play around with that next time. Maybe we'll, maybe there will be a. I mean, again, I don't need them for colorblind standpoint, but maybe there's a color scheme that we think are cool. It's cooler uh, as a result. I pay so little attention to the HUD, though. That's the problem, is I wouldn't, probably wouldn't even notice it. Uh, but it's always, always good for them to be more inclusive, be mindful of those things. Uh, I, have a, I have a good friend who's colorblind, and uh, like when we board game and stuff together, it's really important that the games have Thing, when, when they have things that have colors on them that they have different shapes as well. Like if it's on a card or something like that and there's sections or, or resources that are coded by color, there needs to be a symbol for the resource as well for people who are uh, colorblind. And you can usually tell the difference between you know a company that's paid attention or not 
if, uh, if whether or not they include that that detail. But that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, should be a satisfactory tomorrow. Uh, it's mostly recorded. There's they released update seven, and I've already done all my update seven stuff for the recording. But there are there's a pretty bad bug in the game right now, which makes it really hard to run conveyors. Uh, and uh, I still need to do a bit for the for the episode. It's going to require more conveyoring. I'm just not been eager to do it. But I, I should finish that up tonight and, and have it up tomorrow. And, you know, it's update 7. I need to I need to have the update 7 content up there before it becomes too old. <laughs> I'm sure all the other content creators have already published something on it. Uh, but it's off schedule for me. Uh, next week we'll we'll do something. Uh, if it's not hard space, we'll do something else. Probably will be hard space. Uh, I didn't find time this week to look at the the update, the the expansion for uh, Stacklands. I want to take a look at that and see whether or not I can find a way of doing of doing a session of Stacklands in a live stream that isn't like eight hours. Because I know it's not a commonly known game, I want to be able to do it from the beginning. People can see the buildup of it, but find a way to get through the the mid-game kind of grind of it because there is a slowdown point in it uh, where you don't really expand much uh, or very quickly. Uh, so we'll see. But uh, that's it. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming, hanging out. I'm, I'm so glad that people still still come and see his game. Uh, we had two or three new names uh, in the stream today, which was fantastic. Great to see that, that uh, the game is still drawing in new people. Uh, and I will try to find time this week to do some research on the custom ships, uh, what it takes to install them, whether or not I can, you know, we get away with doing some of those on stream. I think that would be a good thing to do. Explore what other people have done. I'm kind of hesitant to jump on it too early. Uh, it'll give people a little bit time to work out the bugs on it, but we'll see how, how it turns out. Uh, but I do want to cover some of that stuff on stream. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but beyond that, I will see you guys next week. Uh, have a great weekend. Don't forget to like it on the way out. <laughs> if you're one of the new people who've just discovered it, don't forget to subscribe if you want to uh, want to hang out with us again. But uh, thank you very much for coming out, and have a great weekend. <laughs>